Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren from Lady Lauren Explore, and again, we're in a new location. <laughs> I just wanted to mix it up and see how this goes. But today, I've finally read something that I I actually literally was only going to buy because of the cover. The cover sold it to me. Also, don't mind this or this. Uh, I'm getting stress pimples, so I'm trying to combat them. <laughs> but it is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto, and this is a second chance romance. I love second chance romances, and this was just like, it just gave it to me. But the reason I don't, this cover is not the cover I'm talking about. This is the cover, like this print right here is the cover in the original like prints, the paperback, the hardback, or whatever, that was what got me to want to buy this book. <laughs> but Afterlight was doing a special so I was like, oh, I'm already gonna get the Afterlight thing, so I don't have to buy the buy the actual book. Unless it comes out with a different cover that's like more like this, then I'll buy it. Cause that cover in the special edition, I I love this. But this is a second chance romance where our hero and our heroine, she, she, our heroine, is a wedding planner and our hero is a florist, which a tattooed florist. And when I mean tattooed, I mean he has exotic and extinct flowers tattooed all over his body. And I just love it. I love it. Ooh. Anyways, um... So, this has a dual aspect of it because we start off in the present, or as present as, as it's going to get, well, past present. So, like, it starts off with months, and then we go back, starting at five years when we first get to introduce to our couple, and it's told in his point of view in the past, which I love. But I will let you know, just giving you a fair warning, that they don't get together in both timelines into like 80% of the book. At least to me, that's how it felt. Because they don't start getting together in the past until like, I think, two years. When it marks it at two years or three years. I think you start getting flirtation and actual like tension in three years. And then in two years, that's when it leads up to, like, what happens. Like, them being in a relationship together. Then, in the present, or present past, because it goes by months, they are put together as a wedding planner and a florist because our couple, our bride and bride, want her as a wedding planner and him because he's a family friend and he's great at being a florist as a florist and she at first was not going to take the job but this job is very big it will be a big hit for her her career because our bride and bride um one of them is a was a youtuber who turned to a beauty brand who then turned into an actress i think is how it went so, like, having this on your resume is, like, a huge hit for her, and she needs that. She wants that, and even if it's working with her ex, who she hasn't spoken to since the end. But we don't know why they ended. And that's what it was just, like, really me in, because I'm just like, when are they going to, like, break up? Like, when are they, first of all, when are they going to get together? And then when, what happened to lead up to this breakup where you won't talk to him Y'all haven't talking to like y'all haven't talked to each other in like two years, three months, fourteen days, and some hours. Like I think that's when it start, starts again. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like what happened? And then the what happened happened, and I was just like, oh wow, like I can see why this happened because of how she started out the book with me. Like I didn't, I didn't think that this would be the problem when I should have thought that that would be the problem. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so it's angsty, but not the angst that I'm used to. And I was okay like, hey, with that. This is like lighthearted angst. This is, I'm anticipating something. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop and I just need it to drop and it drops. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what? 
And then you have the hero who is like just this very grumpy person. Like, if you think about like Sasuke, like his personality, yeah. Like, think about that. Like, very, I only talk when I need to talk. I'm very quiet. Don't talk to me. Like, I come off as like, I don't, you don't, don't talk to me, please. Like, don't talk to me. <laughs> I think you like that. And he has long hair too. So like, I'm just like, mm, we love that for you, King. But this was really, really good. I, uh, the, the spice, mm, the spice is like a three. Once it starts, it starts. And I was very happy, especially in the past. Cause the spice doesn't happen. Like, I think it happens like twice in the present, but in the past it's, it's going, it's, going and I loved it but like I also understand like he, so the stuff that he was like saying or when he was like when the first interaction of like having sex what he was saying sounds like corny if I didn't know his personality as like my Sasuke character like I was like, oh, yeah, like, it would be corny if someone else said it, but he, like, I know his personality, so it's not that corny. If you get that, like, you know how some people can say certain things and it not be, like, it'd be, like, okay to say, but then when you hear it from someone else, you're just like, nah, that wasn't, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that sounds wild. Yeah, that's basically what what he was giving me because <laughs> i was just like mm, if this was a different character this would be weird like i, I was just like mm, this would be so corny like why would you say that <laughs> like i can't picture like carter or dare telling me this or telling their significant others this because it's it's corny <laughs> like <laughs> it's corny like i, I don't want to tell you what it is because it's funny when it happens well it's funny it was funny to me but yes this is really, really good, and I'm really glad that I read it. I am happy that this is, like, one of those, like, really nice, low angst that I'm, like, used to, but very high angst of, like, this is just a different type of angst for me, and I was really enjoying it. I It took me two days to read it because um, I, I fell asleep, <laughs> but I was, I'm very happy that I did, and I finished it, and... I highly recommend you to read it as well because it was good. <laughs> and also I love the little art print they gave us because that looks so wonderful. I'm just saying. But that is it. My name is Lauren from Lady Lauren Explorer and I post a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Sunday. So please be subscribed so you can get invited when I've uploaded. And I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you later. Also behind me are all of my TBR, my physical TBRs. I have so many and there's, there's one more row right down there. I have so many that I need to get through. And I'm happy that I'm giving through some of them now. What? Bye! <laughs>